Hey guys, Hello. this is Jed and Yao. And welcome to our channel. This is video number two. I hope you enjoy the first one. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, so today we're going to um, discuss this topic um, titled Does Age Difference Matter in Relationships? relationships. Um, we're just going to put it out there that we are 10 years apart. Mm -hmm. Oh. We're 10 years apart. <laughs> I'm 10 years older than she is. I am 10 years younger than he is. And we're not ashamed of it. We let people know our differences. There is a little difference when we talk about shows we used to like back in the day, or little, you know, things you used to play with, or cartoons back in the day. Yeah, he makes it sound like he's Asian. I make it sound like my growing up was awesome because I grew up in the 80s. You grew up in the 90s. Okay, okay, I understand. But so this is why this topic is on this platform for us to discuss. Um, we have friends that have some huge government age and others that are not. And I mean, as you guys know, there are celebrities out there, celebrity couples that have huge age differences. Michael Douglas, Catherine Jones, they're like what, 20, 30 years? Yeah. Older. Um, Gabriel Union. Gary and Dwayne Wade, she's older. Right. Um, and there are a lot. Yeah. Um, and so the question is, does it really matter, you know, what the age difference is? Is there a cap to how huge a difference should be? Uh, and just again, speaking for experiences, yeah. um, from our personal experience, is something we want to discuss. So my question to you, mm -hmm. do you think the age difference matters on the quality of relationship you have with your partner? I think it does, but I think it does positively, not what you guys might be thinking. I think that the guy should be a little bit older than the woman, just because women tend to like mature faster, get focused in life faster, guys can be more free, because we don't have a biological clock ticking. So I think that if you have a woman that's younger, but she's sophisticated, she's sure about herself, and a guy is a little bit older, that matches good. Okay. So, in other words, are you saying that when the table is turned around, when the woman is slightly older uh -huh. than the guy, right. there is a problem? I know what you guys are thinking, but listen up. If we're going to be truly honest with ourselves, the majority of those don't go as well as the majority of the guys older. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to think about, even we can name Dwayne Raid and Gabby Green, but then who else when the woman is older than the guy? It's an ego thing. Guys, come on now. It's an ego thing. Okay. I, I see where you're coming from. She right? might be more established because he's older. She's definitely making more money. It can seem like, kind of like a cougar kind of thing. Guys are not going to really respect you because you're not wearing the pants in the family. She's taking care of you. You see, I think that's a bit biased, you know, in that sense that it almost seems as if when the table is turned um, a certain way, it benefits the relationship. But when it's turned the other way, society almost like looks down upon it. A, a prime example of a good sex story would be my favorite, Gabriel Union, and... Dwayne Wade, yeah. right? It's a sexist story, meaning there are so many of those that are out there that's actually um, successful, being uh, in a case where the woman is a lot older than the the man. But we don't we don't know about those. So if there are many out there, the ones that the guys older than woman <laughs> is shown a lot in the media. So there has to be more of that statistically. Okay. I am going to come back with facts. <laughs> right now, I just have Dwayne Wade and <laughs> Gabby. But, to but, but the answer to the question for us, I think, and I'm not talking for her, we've had this discussion before, is that we don't have a problem with the age difference. Yeah, I think the age difference for us has never been a problem. Initially, though, I was worried that our parents would kind of maybe hesitate with yeah. with um, supporting the relationship because 10 years is, you know, is a huge gap. But I've always kind of liked a, a, a good amount of age difference between wherever I dated. And so I was looking for that. 
you know, so personally, that was my choice, right? And you just have to I check that out. Like that. You that did it for the longest. He didn't even know. He keeps on forgetting yeah. that I am a lot younger yeah. until he references to some something back in the eighties or something old like that. Thing. Not in the eighties, like, something like in the seventies. And, and I'm like, that? what I'm like, are you talking I'm about? Like, oh. But it's fun in the sense know. that I am learning things from your era growing right. up that I personally, you know, didn't grow up with. And so it's all of a learning experience. Even when it comes to music, right? And things that you totally love. Uh -huh. And then I was never exposed to it. And uh -huh. then now I'm like, oh, I kind of really okay. like this. Right. So I think there's benefits to it. Right. Um, but what else would you think would be a negative? Coming from our experience, okay. Because we can't speak for other people. We could right. just speak for. Okay, our I'm gonna experience. say this. We're probably gonna get in a little tidbit after this off camera, but I'm not saying anyways because this is a real channel. Okay. Um, I think sometimes the age difference of like millennials, because she's considered one, and people of my age, about kind of attentiveness, right? Always on their phone. Uh, always taking selfies, always taking pictures, uh, always posting Instagram. She doesn't always do that. I'm just saying, in general, when you see that age difference, the woman, if she's younger, can be seen like, oh, God, like, like, you, you see what I'm saying? So that would be the only negative thing that I would say. But she doesn't do it that often. So but why did that even come up to me? Because we're talking from experience. Sometimes. <laughs> And she's doing that because she knows it's true. I'm guilty to a certain extent, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, there is a rule in our home which we, we apply right. when it comes to social media and staying right. on the phone. Right. Yes, we do get distracted and I don't even necessarily think it's only a, a millennial thing or like an age thing. Right. It's, a lot it's, of people do nowadays. It's so. just what... It's happening within our society now. Yeah. It's not something that I'm proud to be a part of. Um, so it, it takes a little bit more of self-discipline and self-awareness to, you know, to limit that uh, social media engagement and be stuck on our phone, especially during the gathering. Mm -hmm. So I do take some sort of um, the lame. <laughs> that took a lot. Good. 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 It's right. progress, okay? Uh -huh. um, but what, okay, so the next question is mm -hmm. should that be a cap to the age difference? Like, what is too much of an I, age difference? I think, okay, and this is just my belief, right? I believe for if it's a guy older than a woman, mm. 20 years, or I would even say 15 years, would be the biggest gap. So you're saying if it's a guy old being older, how about a female being older than a male? I would say 10 years gap. So my thing is when it comes to this, right, is that there isn't fairness to the age difference and he's already shown that. But you, you know, know what? Okay, what are you going to say? Oh, the um, biological clock is ticking for it's, females. It's I understand guy, that, but what, okay, else. but I think the the um situation changes right because not everyone wants kids like not every female wants kids not every male wants kids so then that age difference can apply to certain people and it cannot you know that's, that's so i think all true. of that comes down to um individual needs and wants within a relationship and i think go this well, is well, another, we're already talking in generality so right that's just one general that's one general and i totally understand so then i think when it comes to the it, the gap in age mm -hmm. um, difference. One of the things that is very important to um, discuss about would be what a person wants in that particular relationship, right? Because age does matter. Like for, if you sit here and pretend sure. it doesn't. Yeah, for sure. You know, so for example, for us, right? Y'all's tenure is different. I, um, and so during earlier in our relationship, we made it known what we wanted in terms of um, children. Um, in the progress of our relationship and when that would happen. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, I feel like because you're older than me um, and you were establishing what you want as a career and I was just starting, um, I knew I wanted to wait a little longer until I, I was a bit established in my career before even going into having kids or any of that. It worked 
in our favor just because of the age difference. You know what I mean? Because I was I didn't feel like I I needed to rush into it based on your age. But I get it. If a table was turned around, right, and mm -hmm. I was your age and um, you were ten years younger, yeah. but we both want kids, right. we would have to work on that up a bit earlier yeah. just because of biological exactly. facts. So that so aspect that's, that's I totally what, agree. That's what I'm saying. But then yeah. all, but also uh, well, I mean, that's one of the biggest drivers. That's one of the biggest drivers. What do you think? That's one of like, the biggest drivers. I think drivers. that is one of the biggest things. And I think, apart oh, from that, then it... Bo body's changing. Okay. So, for instance, guys can hold on to muscle a lot longer, so you can be in your 50s and 60s and still physically look fit and together. But I would add to that... So, if it was turn when a woman's older, she's already going to be looking older. If she's 15 years older... By the time she's 60, he's in his prime. So, so you're trying to say that? that females age faster than males? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is she's already older. So let's say she's 15 years older. Okay. So she's um, 50. Right. Right? Right. But he's 35. Right. But then, you know, we live in... A, well, she's in a, 60. We live 70. in an age where... He's going to be his prime in his 50s. Where there are 60-year-olds that look way better than 20-year-olds. Yeah. We know that, yeah. right? So, so I most think... Most of the women, it's the catching up. They're not into lifting weights. And lifting weights is what keeps you look young. Okay, and, so... And, and we're saying that there are people that, that are in... There are a lot of people at this moment in time that have taken into wellness and well-being and you know the fitness Which lifestyle field, yes, right I I, great but then that are a bit older but still look great they look way better than people but in their 20s and 30s but it's a small percentage of the people that are in their fit women in their 50s that look good <laughs> and women in their 50s that don't look good the gym where most of the best aesthetically uh, pleasing people look when they're in their 50s, they look a certain way, not in shape. There's only a couple that you're like, wow, she's in good shape because they're so far and few between. That goes for guys and women. Okay. But if a guy is older and he's getting a little chubby and all, it's in society, it's like, okay, that's fine. He's established, he's rich, he has money. I'll deal with that. That relationship could work for <coughs> a younger person. But in society, how we're doing for now, if a woman, is she's 65, and the guy, he's like, I look good. I can definitely leave. No current. It's going to be a poor relationship. It's not going to be good. Okay. So physical attraction it's plays a role. Well, and age um, can change that too. Okay. okay. Um, I think I absolutely agree with what you said. But I think that's really the only negative stuff. But yeah, so those are the two big things. Right. But I think if those... If those factors are addressed earlier in a relationship, then everything else should work as any other relationship, right. with regards to the age it's difference, just addressed, right? Yeah, I think addressed. it's just those big things: the fertility aspect and you know um, the physical, physical changes. Aspect, yeah, other yeah. than that, I think it can work. Right. And I think another thing to to talk about would be respect of each other when it comes to the whole age difference right because initially it may sound great and all and it it comes back to us mm -hmm. right there are certain views that i have that may initially may have seemed oh it's i wouldn't say it's childish but it's it's within that age group right versus what you would have thought about that when it came to that particular point of view mm -hmm. you know just because of your experience mm -hmm. and you have had that opportunity of doing all of what I am now doing, being exposed right, to right, and doing. Because right. honestly, when I met, yeah, I had just turned 21. So I was, I had just started, you know. <laughs> so it, you had already done all that, mm -hmm. you know. So then I like the fact that you allowed me to explore, mm -hmm. to have fun at my mm -hmm. own pace and to learn from my own self mm -hmm. but to be honest initially it almost seemed like um a little resentment from me because i felt like he had already experienced all of that and i was lagging when it came to experience and so i i mean i guess you never knew that because he has a look on his face so like i guess um i had this inner struggle and battle to 
to um, meet up or catch up, you know, with him. Oh, no, I'm just saying, that. right? And then once I realized that we have a relationship where there is mutual respect of mm -hmm. each other's uh, yeah, that's one experience, thing that and one so thing I, happened. right, so I felt like I could still experience certain things without being looked at. Um, being looked at as, oh, if you're a child, you're still learning mm -hmm. how to do this or that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Um, which I did not say. No, no, you never no, did. No. I'm just saying this is my own inner okay. struggle, okay. which okay. I had to overcome first, okay. you know, um, for us to move forward. Right. But I will add to it that I was very mature. I've always been very mature. <laughs> And there were things that he was still childish about. So that goes to say that age doesn't necessarily equate maturity. I'm do you thinking, agree? How many things was that childish about? No, no, I'm just saying though, do you agree that age doesn't... She should have been a lawyer instead of a doctor. Did you see this? Do you agree that age uh -huh. doesn't equate... To success to No, no, to maturity. Like a person's yeah. age doesn't necessarily mean that for they're sure. mature. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's for sure. Someone okay. can be older and be immature, yeah, for sure. Okay, so this is all I really have to say about this then, okay. this topic. All right, peace, subscribe. <laughs> I feel it's, like he has questions one. for me after this. Um, let us know. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think. I think this is a very um, interesting topic because we've talked about this so many Share times. Share the video. Uh, Encourage people to comment. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching.